Morning, guys and gals. Monday, January 15th. I don't know what time it is. Didn't look. Don't care. Um, I'll get ready to head out. It's about 15 degrees, somewhere around there. It's cold this morning here in West Virginia. And uh, I was getting ready to head out, and I started my heater, and I thought, let me show this heater in case anyone's thought about buying one. So let me show you what my wife bought me. I'm a cheapskate. I looked at them. I didn't buy it, but for Christmas, she bought it for me. So let's take a look at it. Okay, this is the Mr. Heater. And I've already had it running for a little bit, so it won't do what it normally does, but I'm still going to tell you about it, okay? When you start it, well, first of all, let me describe it to you. Pretty simple. you got a one-pound canister. You can see the top there in the green. We're all familiar with those. We can do anything outside with heaters. And it slips right down inside of this, what looks like a big, big uh, cup, big coffee cup. And that slips right down into your cup holder. Pretty simple. Now, the way you start it, it has no heat selection. It's just an on and off button. Simple as that. And it really is that simple. The only thing you need to be careful of when you start it is when you... It's going to start right away for me because I just had it running. But you need to hold that button, that on button down when you first start it. Because the thermocouple needs to get warmed. If you're not familiar with the thermocouple, you got to heat that up. Once it reaches a certain temperature, it'll let, allow gas flow to continue. If it's not heated up... You hold that button in the on position and that will that the button itself will allow gas flow so let's do that real quick there you got the blue flame down there with flickering orange i'm going to release the on button it should stay on because i had it running and there you go now it takes a few minutes to get hot if you haven't had it running i've had it running at most about an hour so far uh, i had that running the other day when i was filled the back of my buggy here my polaris with wood and I was getting in the buggy and moving it and it was it was pretty hot in here I'm not gonna lie it was, it was real hot it does not get hot that I've noticed on the seat here I turned it away from the dash it doesn't get hot it gets lukewarm up there that will turn red the warmer it gets when you first start it doesn't get that hot I mean there's a little heat coming off the front most of your heat's gonna be coming up the top here which is why this is all vented right here so it heats up really really well like I said, I had it in here. Um, it does heat up the cab. I'm losing my train of thought here because I'm thinking about other stuff. Um, the bad thing is, and it's not this heater's fault, but when you're driving, these Rangers are not sealed tight at all. So I've got air coming in at the pedals down below. I've got air coming in here at the selector. I've got air coming in around the steering wheel. And while these cloth doors are nice, they are not sealed perfectly, so air comes in through there too. However, it's still a lot warmer than out here at 15 degrees. It doesn't feel that bad out here, to tell you the truth, because it's it's um, not windy. The other day when I was out here with the heater on, it was windy out here, so I was jumping in the cab just to warm up and getting back out. But as you can see, that thing throwing off some heat right now. Pretty nice. But when you're driving around, it will cool off in here, so it's not. I didn't think it was overbearing. I drove down to the neighbor's house, dropped off a little wood for them, and uh, I, I was comfortable. I took my gloves off. It was nice. But sitting still, it'll overheat. Another thing we need to be careful of, well, not be careful of, but this is here. Here's a small heater I bought, and all that does is clear off my windshield. Because watch what happens if, I can, if, it, if it'll do it right now. As you know, propane, 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 there we go, puts off a lot of moisture when you burn it. So when you're in this cab, it will fog up on the inside. You can see my arm swipes from cleaning it off yesterday when I was working. I was trying to back up. I couldn't see. But that little heater up there defrosts it for me. It's not really frost. It's more it's moisture on the condensation on the inside. Cold outside, warm inside, it will get uh, condensation on it. So before you go and run out and buy one of these to keep yourself warm, just know you're going to need something up there. And that was off Amazon. It's simple. I just plug it in. It doesn't heat your cab up at all, but it defrosts that windshield for you. You're going to need something like that if you're going to use that. You will get the condensation inside your buggy. Simple. Okay, that's it. That's the Mr. Heater. I think they call it the golf cart heater. Um, yeah, it's simple. I got my beanie sticking up in the air. I don't care. And uh, I love it. Like I said, I didn't buy it. My wife bought it for me for Christmas. I thought I'd try it out. Works really well. So if you think I'm getting one, something for your cab, I'd go ahead and get it. Just make sure you have something to clear off your windshield with. 
or you're going to be constantly wiping it with, with a rag as you're driving along because it will get condensation, especially when you get in there with your big hot breath like me and breathing everywhere. So go for it. Talk to you all later. Bye.